While millions of Americans are planning to get away this holiday weekend, one duo staying right where they are, the crew of Boeing's Starliner capsule. NASA has delayed the return of Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore, meaning they will spend the 4th of July holiday aboard the International Space Station. The agency has stressed the crew not stranded, and their return is simply on hold. CBS News space analyst William Harwood joins us with more from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. So, Bill, how is the crew holding up, and has NASA set a target date for them to come home? Uh, well, first of all, they're holding up great. You know, I mean, they only expected eight days when they first took off, eight days in space. Uh, so they're getting an extended stay in weightlessness, and I don't know that anybody would complain about that. Uh, and no, we don't know when they're coming down yet. They want to complete all the testing uh, to, to learn more about these problems that you mentioned at the top. You know, they've had helium leaks. They're still studying that. And they've had some thruster problems. So they're actually ground firing some of those same thrusters uh, this week out in New Mexico to see if they can figure out exactly what happened up in space. They think the thrusters are just fine for coming home. They just want to collect more data before they commit to it. Okay, so these are issues, remind us, Bill, that happened um, during takeoff or during um, connection with the no. ISS? Yeah, you know, it happened the day after launch. They launched on June 5th, and the next day they caught up with the space station. And it was during that approach to the station when they're firing lots of thrusters. And, of course, the helium system is activated during all of that. That's when these additional leaks showed up, uh, and, uh, and they had four thrusters get, that stopped working. It turns out the thrusters are fine. They test-fired them. Uh, they think the software was maybe set a little bit too uh, restrictive, if you will, but they're still trying to understand that. Maybe it was temperature-related, whatever, and that's why they're doing these ground tests, uh, just to, just to kind of ring this out. So let's break away from Starliner for a minute. The next station spacewalk has been delayed to the end of the month. What's going on? Yeah, you know, that's a totally unrelated problem, but they originally wanted to carry out three different spacewalks to do some maintenance outside and to pull some equipment back into the station. Uh, the first one was called off when one of the astronauts complained of a suit discomfort issue. They never really explained what that was. And then they tried to do a, 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 a redo, if you will, another spacewalk to do the same thing. And this time, one of the, one of the astronauts' uh, cooling system sprung a leak in the airlock. You know, the cooling water in their suit began spewing out because a valve hadn't closed quite properly. Uh, so anyway, they put the spacewalks on hold. They're doing a lot of tests on those spacesuits. Uh, they think they'll get these back in, back in good shape. But again, it's one of those things where you want to make real sure your spacesuit's working fine before you walk out the hatch. Okay, Bill Harwood, thank you so much.